Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, Bloom's Taxonomy, Explained for Classroom Educators. Now, before we begin, let's give some credit to Benjamin Bloom who created the taxonomy. And this taxonomy was later revised by Lauren Anderson. Now here's the question posed. Why should educators use Bloom's taxonomy? Well, Bloom's taxonomy helps educators develop critical thinking skills and higher order cognitive abilities in their students. The best education is one where students are challenged. Next, what purpose does Bloom's taxonomy serve for educators? To provide a framework or organization for classifying lesson objectives, teachers can build their lessons through Bloom's taxonomy, for example. Now, let's specifically see how we can use Bloom's taxonomy. The first thing you want to do is consider the level of your students and the course level. A lesson for an algebra special education class will be different from an algebra advanced placement class. Aim to reach objectives for analyzing for remedial classes and evaluation for advanced placement classes. So, what are the levels of Bloom's taxonomy? The lowest level of cognitive rigor requires students to remember, apply, followed by analyze, followed by evaluate, and lastly, create the highest level of cognitive rigor. Now, remember was first known as knowledge, but later revised. Similarly, understand was previously called comprehension. And lastly, the order of create and evaluate were switched. Bloom's taxonomy is actually a hierarchy where students must first master the lower levels before mastering the higher levels. The lower levels are relatively simple levels while the higher levels represent more complex cognitive rigor. The higher levels are more abstract as well. When utilizing Bloom's taxonomy as educators, descriptive verbs have been made available to help educators plan lessons. Verb tables have been created to align with levels of Bloom's. Arrange, describe, order, name, memorize, those particular verbs are used to set objectives for remember level, explain, summarize, paraphrase, infer, discuss, are all aligned with understanding. Break down, calculate, model, subdivide, infer, are all aligned with analyze. Critique and judge are aligned with the evaluation level. And lastly, generate, plan, and produce are aligned to the top levels of cognition, which is create. Now, to summarize what we have learned thus far, to develop critical thinking in students, Educators use Bloom's descriptive verbs to write lesson objectives which are aligned to different levels of Bloom's taxonomy. So thank you for watching this video and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel and if you like the video as well. Thank you very much and please subscribe.